everybody, Martin at Flickin' Feathers again today. Kind of claw dad. It's one of Chuck Craft's uh, bass flies. Excellent for smallmouth and largemouth bass, and I mean, I'm sure it works for other species that eat a crayfish. As always, we'll put materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone that wants to support the channel, get access to the members only content, and be eligible for the giveaways. So I've got my hook in my vise, this is a Temco 5263 and this is a size 4. Um, but you can use a similarly proportioned hook, right? Long shank, heavy wire. And I like to just check, I get my eyes in the right bit. I'm tying an olive one this time, so I've got eyes, I've just painted these olive with nail polish and then I've given them a wee coat of liquid fusion to protect that colour just check your eyes uh. sitting nice and square 90 degrees to the shank, 90 degrees to the bend, and then just come in top and bottom them over and under and really lock them in. Now, <clears throat> a wee bit of super glue it does no harm, so just get that in there. Now we're ready for the chenille, and I'm using this sort of olive, olive and like an olive and golden olive uh, variegated chenille. But right, catch that in by the core at this stage, because this has got to be the flat spot where we finish the fly, and then I'm going to run back over this. All the way down and around the bend. Take my thread to the front, get a wee half hitch. I'll just no, under out of my way. Now, it's durability, I'm going to get a wee bit, bit of gel super glue. Stick it on here, and then build up this rear section right around the bend. Let the chenille turns sort of overlap each other, sort of nearly. You're nearly sort of tying on top of the previous wrap, and come along. Until you get to the hook point, at which point follow that around with the thread, tie it off. Right, now I'm leaving this chenille on the card um, because you use quite a lot for this fly and it just seems to be easier just to keep it working like that. Fold it back. Tie over it, tidy everything up. And then I'll throw in a half hitch because I'm going to take the hook out of the vise. I'm going to thread on my claw. These are pre cut from Eastern Trophies Outfitters. I'll put a link in the description for them. And you end up, you've got this. Claw now, run. Now, I'm going to pull it down, make sure it's straight, parallel to the hook, take a wrap over to catch it, see how you're sitting. Then I like to come right back, 
so that I've secured it right down to that bumper chenille and then just take my thread forward, touch and wraps all the way securing that in place put a half hitch here because that's me, I've marked my spot where the chenille body is going to end I'm going to take this up right up against the this, the claw right so that it, there's no any gap you can see there that's nicely and tightly held in and then tight wraps coming forward until I get to my thread I'm going to tie that off tie it off on this side And again, I'm just crushing this so that the flat spot is maintained for taking the legs. And then when I get to behind the eye, I've still got my wee spot, I'll take nearly a full turn, figure eight it around the, the eyes. And then I'll come round into the eye, back over. When I get here I can tie it off. I'm going to flatten everything. And that's tied in over a good 3mm there. I'll just tidy everything up and get myself a nice smooth bed for the rubber legs. I'm using these uh, barred olive, the orange on one side, green on the other, but it doesn't matter. And I've got a strip just slightly longer than the hook, and it's seven wide, seven legs wide. So I'm going to catch it on the side, a couple of loose wraps, just let it sit in there, and I want the long legs, the back legs come in maybe half a shank length behind the hook so they're coming to it halfway up the, the claw that's how long I like them same on this side, a loose wrap and you'll see that the legs the seven legs should sort of the clumps of legs should be meeting. Right, they'll cover they'll cover that whole flat spot and then wind forward or back I should say, wind back and touch and turns and stop just shy. I've still got a couple of wee turns of thread there. Just shy of the chenille. And it should be the same at this side as well. You've got a wee, it's no hard against the eyes. And then it's just a case of whip finishing. Always day two. Nice and tight. And then I'll come in with my varnish. Don't use super glue because the super glue will make your legs break. You've got to use like, Sally Hansen's or something. And then you just pull in the legs to separate them. To give you an idea. You've got these really short legs, the gear for one type of vibration and the, the other legs give you a bit of a different one. Now, before I separate these back ones, you need to take it out of the vise 
and have a look. Now, see how it's sitting. I've been quite lucky, this one's dead straight. I would say nearly or nearly perfect. Um, maybe pull that one a wee bit. You can sort of pull it and adjust it. And then when you're happy, you can lift the claw. And then the same gel super glue, get it in under here. And then you can glue the claw in so it's fixed in place, it's, it's not going to spin or twist and that if, if the claw is twisted the fly will twist when you cast it and it will spin and twist up your leader um, and it will no swim right now I've got them not quite the same le length so we'll just come in trim that and there's a, a long one there somehow and there you go you separate those legs and your claw dad's done. It's a really good it's a really good bass fly this. And carp eat it. I've I've caught quite a few carp on the claw dad. Um it's a good a good one I often like to have like a sort of each way bet fly on when I'm fishing for smallies. If it's a bit slow in the bass I can still throw this at a carp. There you go, this is a claw dad. First time I saw it I thought it was a bit strange looking but I'll tell you when it's hanging out of a bass's mouth, it looks good. Um, excellent fly. So I hope that was useful, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to my channel. Tight lines guys, bye.